At the graduate level, we're introducing two new degree programs. Uh, one is in humanitarian geophysics. One of the things that we're really excited about here is how we can use geophysics as an applied science in order to address some of these uh, very important questions of uh, community development challenges around the world. And so if we go out and deploy um, electromagnetic surveys or resistivity surveys or seismic surveys, we can collect a variety of different geophysical data types that can be integrated into a, a single interpretation that then allows us to identify potential new locations for, uh, for groundwater. One of the really um, challenging parts of doing humanitarian geophysics is largely access to geophysical instrumentation. So we have a couple projects that are going on looking to develop uh, resistivity meters, low-cost seismometers that can actually be employed in groundwater investigations to really lower the barrier to entry and allow a, a much wider scale application of this technology throughout the developing world. We're also putting a lot of emphasis on hydrology and hydrogeophysics, and we have a new program in hydrogeophysics that we're, uh, that we're just launching. One of the things that's really changing the way we think about hydrogeologic processes is airborne measurements, which have been around in mining for ages, but not so much in hydro. And so we can now fly and see down hundreds of meters into the earth, and that gives us a way to take a look at what the bottom boundary might look like for some of the numerical models we make. We're training people that really are at those interfaces that understand hydrogeologic and hydrologic problems, but then know how to solve those problems. So for me as a, as a teacher, it's really exciting to be part of a program that really integrates those two things together.